It's time once again for that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Jamie is a leading Tampa Bay real estate agent and featured on the Wall Street Journal's list of top 100 real estate agents in the nation. Jamie invites you to list your home with him today and learn more at tampabayradio.com. Now, live in studio and promoting the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy, your host, Jamie Maloney. Hey, good morning, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. And, you know, you'll find me on here weekday mornings at 8 a.m. And starting April 25th, you'll find me on here weekday mornings starting at 7 a.m. So, again, thank you all the listeners, partners, and sponsors for helping make this show a success in the Tampa Bay area and also, as always, I'd just like to invite any and all business owners who'd like to come on the program. Always looking for content, always looking for material. No charge to come in here as a guest. And also, I do have uh, sponsor packages available for anybody who'd like to come in here on a regular basis. Uh, I've got my uh, lovely co-host, Stella Giudicelli, back with me uh, today. Stella, good morning to you. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning, Tampa Bay. And we have a great show planned, as always. And I see you got an amazing piece of cheesecake sitting in front of you that yeah, was brought over. Yeah, this is torture right now, so I'm trying to wait. I didn't know if you would eat that <laughs> because... I didn't know if you would eat it because I know you're so uh, in the green juice diets and all that stuff. Yeah, not and, today. But uh, we have Gino Tiozzo, the owner of Donatella um, Italian Cuisine here in studio with us, and he was nice enough to bring us this fine cheesecake. So, Gino, welcome to the show this morning. Thank you so much for that cheesecake. Thank you, Jamie and Stella, for having me on the show today. Yes, I partook in a piece of it before the show. A delicious a cheesecake, uh, by the way. So thank, thank you for you. that. So now, Gino, homemade, sorry. now Gino is talking and like... Yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah, yeah Stella will be off the mic for the next five minutes while she's eating her cheesecake over I here. I brought so. our homemade ricotta cheesecake topped with strawberries, blackberries, Very nice. Let me and see, because we, we live on the internet yeah, right Josh, now. Yeah, Josh, we so. get a little camera of the cheesecake there before she destroys it there. All right, very <laughs> nice there if you're watching us there on, on the video there at home. So, Gino, first off, let's talk a little bit about the restaurant. First of all, where is it located? Uh, we are on 232 North Dale Mabry, two blocks north of Kennedy, half a mile south of 275 in a standalone building. Uh, we've been there for 30 plus years now, 31 plus. Wow, congratulations yeah. on that. You're a second generation owner. Tell me the history of this Correct. restaurant. Well, my father started the restaurant Guido Teozzo in uh, December of 1984. And I think your next guest, Kim Rogers, probably has been coming since very shortly after, <laughs> maybe even since that very December. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, the vice president of Rees Motor Import Cars. She's going to be on the second half of the show, but you're right. Yeah. She was excited to be in here with you today, and she uh, frequents your restaurant each and every day. The ambience of the restaurant is incredible. I've been there myself. I am a part Italian myself, so I definitely love the decor and the ambience, and Thank especially you. the food. But for the listeners that have not been there, take us through the menu and how this, what it's like yeah, inside. Well, uh, where do I start? Let me walk you in the restaurant. Uh, first of all, when you come into Donatello, I mean, we exemplify in my opinion the um, old world charm and class and uh, uh, when you walk in the front door it's a hall of uh, photos of celebrities local national and international that have come over the years uh, so you walk in and greeted by either my father or myself every night uh, or one of our head captains floor captains that uh, most of which have been working with us for many, many years. I mean, we picked one uh, uh, one person up this last fall, Emiliano, but other than that, uh, Carmelo's been working with us for 30 years, Ted over 25, David and Mauro over 20 years. I mean, we have longevity and professionals working in the business that uh, is somewhat hard to find in our industry anymore. Uh, walk into the main dining room and it's a hues of pinks and gilded gold ceilings uh, completely hand done by my stepmother by the way uh, with gold leaf that she brought over from Venice and the artwork is all from uh, done by Venetian painters one uh, Simona Bolla and the other one uh, Roberto Merelli Simone is an old friend of my father's that came over here on uh, three or four different trips over 15, 20 year span and uh, made pieces specifically for uh, spaces in the restaurant. And his style is goes along with the gilded ceiling. Of, he actually taught my stepmother to do that uh, with uh, his paintings have backgrounds of silver, gold, bronze. So in our restaurant, it only has one window kind of like a casino. What happens in Donatello stays in Donatello. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's a uh, glass block uh, window, so it's not 
too much light, but all the uh, all the metallic uh, set, uh, reflects light and just creates really warm uh, hues of reds and pinks, and all the waiters are in tuxedos, and the pink tablecloths and pink lighting is uh, it's a uh, it's got a really unique warm. Uh, rich feel to it. Uh, very proud of it. The restaurant's very beautiful. And I can tell you taste. definitely yeah. uh, describe it very well. Uh, and, you know, Sorry. Jamie, you were saying you're Italian. I'm from France, and I think that one of the things I'm missing here the most, living in the U.S., is the local family business. So in France, mm. we have boutiques, and most of our restaurants actually are family businesses. Mm. And uh, it's such a pleasure to have your restaurant here in Tampa. Because there is really, you come in, there's really the family atmosphere, the family feeling. Yes. And on top of that, I'm a very tough critic with food. And <laughs> your food is, you, you can taste the family and the love, and it's really authentic. And it's really a trip to Italy. So. Yeah, that's a good well, point. Thank you. Yeah. And, you know, I was talking of, of the uh, longevity of our staff in the dining room, but the same goes in the back of the house. And that really makes our managing and operating job so much easier the uh guys in the back that uh handle any pans have been with us for a minimum of 10 years we have someone that have even been with us for 20 years and again that's somewhat unheard of in our industry anymore but it it allows for consistency people get what they expect when they come to see us most of the time we make a mistake every once in a while also i don't mean to uh, not say that but we try to very hard not to and to make sure that everybody has a really fabulous dining experience it's not just a dinner you know we try to give a full dining experience and make sure that all the guests leave with uh so a feeling of a trip to Italy, like right. you said, totally. you know, and you would um, you, you would lose that if you expanded and it had multiple restaurants. Next, thing you know, you have like a Carabas type of atmosphere, which is Italian, but it's not, you know, it's not the well, same of experience. Yeah. McDonald's would, of Italy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would I would say not uh, not a comparison by any um, stretch, but uh, agreed. We've tried uh, or thought about expanding in the past but again that longevity in staff and the and a lot of our customers that have been coming for uh, 20 30 years have that familiarity with uh, and friendship relationship with the uh, staff members uh, very hard to recreate mm -hmm. um, or duplicate uh, anymore uh, what, as is your, far as, go what ahead, is your sorry. favorite dish over there? What do you recommend for I the first time? I knew you were going to ask me that, and that's a setup <laughs> question, in my opinion. <laughs> our menu is extremely varied. and uh, from You asked our, me what I had when I asked I remember it was a chicken marsala there. Okay, yes. very good, very good. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, of the, course. The, the marsala is, um, is uh, I, I enjoy it, and we don't make it, I try not to make it sweet, you know. I don't like it overly sweet dishes, but a little Marsala wine with our homemade demi, a nice mushrooms, is uh, it's a nice dish. Yeah. Tell me about your, who's your head chef over there? Do you, and do you get involved in any of the uh, dishes yourself? Well, my and father and myself, honestly, are... You're um, the chefs then. Yeah, we, we are uh, on quality control in every aspect of the business, including the kitchen. Any new dishes that go through, anything that's, uh, that's uh, created, everything that comes out of the kitchen. One thing that we do that's unique in Donatello is we don't plate any of the hot dishes in the back of the house. Food does not come into the dining room. Hot food, our cold plates are prepared in the back, um, on plated. Our staff, uh, our waiters don't just are not just food runners. They are also professionals in the way they handle the food. They're the last guard, if you will, on quality control on everything that happens that comes out of the kitchen. So we have uh, wait stations with open flames. The pans go on the open flames, and every hot dish that uh, comes out of the kitchen is plated, sauce, everything finished, table side. I say table side, the flames aren't brought directly to the table, but there are five different workstations that operate in the dining room. So a lot of people that haven't been to us before say, oh, what are you doing over there? Are you making a banana flambe or this or that? And when I explain it to them, it's actually quite entertaining. It adds a lot of... Uh, movement and uh, uh, uniqueness 
to uh, what we do, to the t- t- food that's served, to the final item. What type of events do you have? I see you have like an opera night at uh, Donatello. We, do. we have some very successful fun events that uh, we've been doing for a few years. One is uh, with Opera Tampa, and that's been our absolutely fantastic. They bring six to eight singers in. Um, we bring our baby grand piano from the lounge, which I'd love to mention about our bar and lounge area in a minute. Mm-hmm. I'll go there. Um, the We bring it and roll it. It's on wheels, so we put it right in the middle of the dining room. They bring a uh, pianist, and they sing all through dinner, uh, regular dining, regular, you know, you, you ha- to get a table, you have to have dinner. It's not a sit show, mm-hmm. right? But uh, you can sit with friends. You don't have to be an opera lover per se because you're enjoying dinner with great entertainment and the really the atmosphere and the uh, entertainment go so well together. It's, uh, it's been super successful. We, have, we hold that event almost every month, at least probably 10 a year. And uh, uh, it's just we had a great response. We packed the house. It's great energy in there. The opera singers are phenomenal. When is the next one? I want to come. Yes, please. The <laughs> next one is April 22nd. We usually have them on Friday nights. Okay. The singers start about 7.30. You don't have to be there right at 7.30. Everybody likes to come at 7.30. Yeah, I got I to say, it's really refreshing to have a restaurant that's so, you know, dead on about being cultural and bringing, mm-hmm. you know, the, the best part of Europe to the United States. Yeah. And, you know, I got to say, I got to check this place out. It yeah. sounds like it's really a it's, really it's, great it's experience. It's authentic Italian, yeah. the experience and the food. It's, I mean, I've been yeah. to, you yeah. know, the We've other We've got Italian too many around. Carabas and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's no, Donatello is definitely, it's, authentic. it's definitely the class act of Tampa Bay in terms of Italian cuisine. Absolutely. You've done an amazing mm-hmm. job job with well, it, you and your you. family. I appreciate so. that. So let me take a uh, break here. Coming back, though, I want to talk about your uh, Italian influence. I, mean, I know you go over to Italy and stuff, so I want to kind of get the feel for what you kind of get when you go over to Italy and what you bring back to the States with your restaurant here. Again, talking so to good. Gino Tiozzo, owner of Donatello Fine, Donatello Fine Italian Cuisine, and you can learn more about this over at DonatelloTampa.com. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business <laughs> becomes show business. Yeah, Hi, my name is Jamie Maloney. I'm the host of That Business Show, a radio show that works with business professionals to get them on air. Starting April 25th, That Business Show is expanding to air two hours a day from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and will work with a select group of business professionals to enhance their community exposure, branding, and credibility. That Business Show's branding package offers businesses and organizations a cost-effective package which includes regular on-air appearances, followed up with an edited video of the appearance and press release, along with daily audio and video commercials, social media management and development, monthly networking event, professional photography, and much more. Only a three-month commitment is required, and you will have a lifetime of benefits, including a collection of videos that will not only save you time answering the same questions over and over again, but will also enhance the SEO of your website. In addition, you will become part of a network of professionals with the ability to request introductions to any of the guests that come through this program. I only have a limited number of packages available to sell, so act now. Call me today at 813-760-8516 or email me, jamie at tampabayradio.com, to get on board today. Again, that's 813-760-8516 or jamie at tampabayradio.com. Have you ever tried to buy a home for your family only to find out that you don't qualify for a mortgage loan? You thought that after 20 years as a customer of your bank, they would help you when you needed it the most, right? Unfortunately, the banks of today are not the banks of our parents and grandparents, and our relationships with them just don't matter anymore. My name is Frank Cotto, and I'm the president of the Lincoln Lending Group. We all may need a bank, but we also need a Frank, and that's what I'm here to do for you today. Lincoln Lending Group will waive all of your lending fees, which include your mortgage, application fee, your underwriting fee, processing fees, and any bank points. Just call 813-MORTGAGE. You drop the E, and we'll drop the fee. Teresa Turner is a certified public accountant and the founder of Tax Happens, a boutique-style CPA firm providing small businesses and individuals with hands-on, personalized tax and accounting services. Although we would love to tell you how happy their clients are, we would like you to see for yourself. Tax Happens has 21 Google reviews and a 4.8 star Google rating, 17 Yelp reviews and a 5 star Yelp rating, 38 Facebook reviews and a 4.9 star Facebook rating. What sets Tax Happens apart is number one, upfront pricing, two, clear deadlines, three, personally available year round, and number four, a willingness to empower clients to do as much or as little as they desire. Visit TaxHappens.com for more information. 
Savvy business owners utilize technology to connect with customers, communicate among teams, and collaborate with partners. Even with advances in technology, you all know it's not infallible. Where do you turn when your technology starts working against you? Who do you depend on to keep your team productive? Don't wait until your technology fails you. Get ahead of the crisis and contact the professionals at Alpha Computing Solutions so they can show you how to keep your technology running smoothly. Visit them online at www.alphacomputing.com. Computing.com. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of That Business Show. When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high-quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no-obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at rictaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813 813- Six four one four seven five seven. Rick Tosseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. From the RP Funding Traffic Network. Crash in South Tampa on Gandy Boulevard at Lowest. That's causing delays in the eastbound direction. Also a crash in Largo on westbound Roosevelt approaching US 19. This one in the right lane. Typical traffic on the Bay Area bridges, including the Howard Franklin Bridge. It's slow into Tampa. No major delays to report on the Courtney Campbell Causeway. See traffic problems. Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uterich Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Unbound. When you sponsor through Unbound, you not only open the door to education for a young person, you empower a family to build a foundation of financial stability, empowerment, and respect. See your contribution grow into opportunity at unbound.org. Today, sunny in the morning, then a 30% chance of showers in the afternoon, high 81. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 70. Tomorrow, a 40% rain chance, high 81. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And welcome back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Currently talking to Gino Tiozzo, owner of the Donatello Fine Italian Cuisine Restaurant. You can learn more about this over at donatellotampa.com. Gino, how often do you get over to Italy still? Uh, once every few years anymore, uh, I was fortunate to go back almost yearly growing up over the, uh, as a child and a teenager, but uh, now with the business and family, it uh, happens every few years. I was there last summer for a couple of weeks, uh, went to Venice, where we were originally from Venice, Italy, my father and I, and uh, saw some family there, brought, you know, was able to go with my kids and take some of them for the first time. And got over to Siena, which was gorgeous. Uh, my first trip to Siena, I was there for three or four days. Really pretty town. And uh, the when you're over there, though, do you take, do you learn? Do you get more influence from the? Does is the Italian cuisine always evolving in Italy? And you bring this back to your restaurants? Of course, uh, the the food in Italy more so than uh, than over here and in Europe per se. I would say is uh, regional um, in each country. So depending on where you are. In Venice, we eat a lot of seafood because we're right in the water, right in the, we, we're right in the lagoon. In uh, Tuscany, there's a little bit more meats and wild game and so on. So traveling is key to getting those um, influences, traveling to different areas of Italy as uh, per se. But I think the secret and, well, it's not a secret, but the key and the most important thing with Italian uh, food and cooking is to start with the best possible, freshest ingredients. Uh, we really keep it simple and try not to spoil them. <laughs> what region out, does your restaurant draw the most influence from? Uh, we are the, Our style of cooking is more northern uh, because we use some uh, cream sauces, butter sauces, our... Uh, which there's some French influence there, oh, right? Yes, when I hear cream. <laughs> and and um, also um, our red sauces are not uh, heavy 
long cooked, uh, mm-hmm. you know. But uh, we also have dishes that vary and uh, exemplify regions of all over Italy. Um, are also buco. Uh, we do a medaglioni pizzaiola, something more typical of Naples. We do um, a wonderful rack of lamb, scottadita, grilled rosemary garlic, which is Roman style. Stop it. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> I just, I just want to have all of it right now. Still is falling you, in love. <laughs> yeah, the way you describe the food uh, is just amazing. I have a funny story about our also buco. The, um, the Prada, the lady, the young lady that's the local rep or regional rep for Prada, is a customer of ours, and she brought a couple of uh, gentlemen in from Italy, from uh, Milano, of course, right, the fashion capital of Italy, and um, they uh, her language, dude. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're still talking. Yeah. So well, they, we're, they were trying to decide what to eat, and I offered our also buco because it's one of our uh, very best sellers. It's one of my favorites. You asked me what uh, one of my favorite dishes is. It's uh, that's uh, definitely in the, on the top ten list. But um, it, so the gentleman said to me, you know, I'm from Milano. I go to eat also buco at the specific restaurant once a week, and I love a challenge, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, listen, I'll, I'll you know I'll make a deal with you. Try our also buco. If you're not happy, I'll make you something else. It's not you know no n- no no worries. And uh, so it came out. I let him get into it a little bit, right? And he didn't look up. He didn't say a word. He was enjoying it. <laughs> I walked, so I didn't even go back to the table. I went back. I let him get through that, through the whole thing and the marrow and everything. And I said, I went back. I said, how is it? And he looked at me really uh, honestly surprised, but happily surprised and said, it's as good as, he didn't say, you know, he said, it's as good as the one I have in Milano. I said, oh, I'm, ha- I'm happy about that. Thank you. You know. And uh, I actually, this was a few years ago, but I remember uh, specific instances uh, in uh, being in the restaurant every day. You remember, uh, even though it seems like one night runs into another, but uh, we remember uh, specific tables, specific instances. Um, and I remember they also had the, our tortellini, which I'm very proud of our homemade pasta. Not many places do that anymore. Of course, you know, there is a fairly good commercial uh quote unquote fresh pasta that that uh that because Italy makes good food that even travels um honestly but uh nothing compares to homemade fresh pasta that hasn't been frozen that hasn't been uh sitting for weeks or whatever the case may be and uh our tortellini, agnolotti, homemade fettuccine, and cannelloni are uh, some of some of my favorite. The, the ho- I'm everyone very proud is, of that. Yes, <laughs> everyone in the, the studio is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I are we going? So, by the way, um, I, I want to come to your opera uh, singer event that you have on April 22nd. Yes. How do I need to book a table? Or it's better, yes, okay, for our special events. Okay. Anyone that wants to know, you can, of course, call the restaurant to find out when we're having these events. Do you have the number or you can of the also restaurant? Go, the number is 813-875-6660. You can also go to our website. Uh, our calendar there displays um, different events and um, or our Facebook page also. Is there any other events that... Uh, that is the only w- event that we have coming planned up? coming okay. up yeah, mm-hmm. for the next couple of months. We also do a carnival event that we've been uh, uh, having hosting for the last few years. In uh, that one just went by in February, of course, carnival time all over the year, all over the world, yes, right? In Nice as well, yeah. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it was. Uh, it's a really, it, it's a fun event. It's super successful. Also, we have a so variety we need to of different this month for next year. Yes, you know. People enjoy it so much that I might uh, have a fall carnival <laughs> just for the fun of it. Very nice. Good <laughs> well, news. Good. Well, good stuff yeah. and a great restaurant. Gino Tiozzo, owner of Donatello, thank you so much for being in studio today. Thank you for having me on the show. I enjoyed it. Grazie. Learn more at DonatelloTampa.com. You've been listening to That Business Show, Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Hi, welcome to Yeager's. We just want to take a minute and show you what we're all about. Uh, at Yeager's, our primary business is hardwood flooring although we are remodelers for kitchen, bath, and general construction. We operate a fleet of shop-at-home vans that have all the flooring-type products, hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, tile, stone, what have you. So we're able to come out first with products in our vehicles and take a look at the setting, how the colors will work, and then 
to be able to come up with some options and ideas for you. If that's not good enough, we have a large distribution center that we inventory product and have a nice display area. Want to learn more? Attend one of our free monthly seminars and put your business on the map. Register today at Trustdale.com. From the RP Funding Traffic Network. Good morning. Traffic lightening up on the interstates around Tampa Bay. Not seeing too much of a delay now on southbound Veterans Expressway. Just some typical stuff south of Gun Highway to Waters. Also southbound 275. Slow traffic from around Fowler Avenue to Hillsborough. Westbound I-4 looking a whole lot better near the fairground. Still a bit slow approaching 275. And the Gandy Bridge, it is slow off the bridge up to around Manhattan. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uteric Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings is always taking it to the next level. 21 sauces and seasonings, wall-to-wall -wall flat screens in 70-cent wing Tuesdays and boneless Thursdays. It's the perfect way to spice up your work week. Buffalo Wild Wings, the official hangout for NCAA March Madness. 1250 winds, weather center forecast, chance for a few showers today, 20%. It's a little more cloud cover picking up throughout the day, low 80s, back for the high upper 60s tonight for the low. See a 30% chance of rain tomorrow, low 80s through the weekend. Rain chance getting a bit high in the weekend, though, up to 50%. Impact Radio 1250 wins WHNZ. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to TampaBayRadio.com, where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And welcome back, everybody. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney. Where business becomes show business. You find me on here weekday mornings at 8 a.m. And on April 25th, you'll find me on here weekday mornings starting at 7 a.m. So if you're a business owner that's uh, been uh, listening to the program for a while or if you know of a business owner that would be a good fit for the show, again, always looking for content for the uh, program. So please uh, point them in my direction. Email introduction is always uh, best. And you can do that via my contact form over at tampabayradio.com. Also, we have a, uh, a mixer coming up next uh, Wednesday here at the uh, iHeart Media Studio. So people are welcome to to register for that that's going on from 5 30 to uh, 7 o'clock and you can register for that at uh, workingwomenoftampabay.com that's a uh, a, a co-branded mixer between us and the working women of tampa bay which we feature every wednesday here on the program as many of you all know so again uh 15 bucks i think it is to uh, register so anybody is welcome to come to that meet me meet jessica and meet many of the uh, members of the uh, working women of tampa bay networking group and also see if it's a uh, fit for you to uh, come on the program again i got a number of different uh, advertising and sponsor packages available and you can uh, speak with me at at the event again register over at working women of tampa bay.com or just send me a message jamie at tampa bay radio.com uh if you're just tuning in we we're talking with uh, gino tiozzo owner of donatello fine italian cuisine there on the last segment and now i have kim rogers who is the vice president of reeves import motor cars one of my favorite places to buy a car of which i own two myself kim welcome to the program today thank you thank and you also me. you're a, a patron of the donatello fine italian cuisine i think you were saying you go there every single day <laughs> i'd like to <laughs> Oh, yeah, we either. Gosh, Gino, probably. It's been once a week lately. I think we're kind of digging that Donatello after dark. Yeah. So what is, what's Don, I wanted to bring that up with uh, Gino. What, what is Donatello oh my after gosh, dark? It's awesome. The pianist is awesome. What's his name? Dwight Champagne. Yeah. And, 
Go ahead and get yeah. in right there. Yeah. 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 Uh, Dwight Champagne, and uh, he usually has a couple guest singers that come in or guest musicians. My friend also. Elena Wagner, she's on there yeah, sometime. On, on My lamplighter friend. Yeah. Is that a weekly she's event? Very good. That's every sa- Friday and Saturday in our lounge. It's okay. a separate room. It's a beautiful lounge. We didn't get to get there, but uh, we have a beautiful mahogany and rich red gold lounge that uh, I think we have 600 open bottles behind the bar. Oh, wow. I would say that it's the biggest back bar in any bar. And the greatest yeah, I, chocolate. I was ask about the wine have a and chocolate the martini. Sorry? I, I was, I was going to ask about the wine and the salad selection. How, uh, how vast yeah. is we, that? Yeah. How va- the, yeah. Our wine cellar, I would say, is a second only to Burns. And uh, our Italian wine selection, I would have to look at Burns' wine list. I'm sure <laughs> that, you know, I know they have quite a, a, a facility there, but our ta- we specialize, obviously, in having a great variety of Italian wines. Very cool. And, Very cool. Uh, yeah, I also want to mention that the wonderful Miss Kitty, a Tampa native and local, she's a Tampa classic that's been playing in uh, this area for 50 years, uh, is uh, also plays in our lounge Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. She's um, she's a gem to our society and to uh, music. She's actually taught a lot of the local musicians over the years um, uh, how to play. She's let uh, me be a backup singer before. Sorry. I said she's let me be a backup singer. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, likes, she likes guest singers, and she can play just about anything you can think of. So if there's a song you like to sing, she can either play it or learn it right off of your voice in about 30 seconds. There you go. Donatello yeah. After Dark, every Saturday, you every said? Every Friday and Saturday, Saturday and in our Saturday. lounge. And, we, and again, we have entertain, entertainment in the lounge uh, every night except Sunday with the wonderful Miss Kitty, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Dwight's in there, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sunday. You know what I like about pulling into Donatello is that I see Reeves cars lined up in the driveway. <laughs> a Maserati, a Porsche, BMWs. That was the most beautiful Audi. segue. Yeah, it was. It was. Very good. Yeah. Very well good. Done, well done. Uh, no, really, though. It's true. But no, you're right, though. There are many uh, BMWs just all throughout Tampa, and Reeves is, I believe, the leader in sales in the area. That's where I went to get my car. I've Thank been a BMW you. driver since uh, 2006. I uh, had a, a Nissan Sentra for years and traded it in on my first used BMW, and uh, it was a great car. And then I bought my first uh, brand new one from Reeves back in 2011. I still have that. It's a 135 black convertible. And, and then you I, look very good into it, Jamie. Thank you. And I also have a, a, a white uh, 4 Series uh, convertible hard top. So I have two cars now from you, Well, UP. thank you so much. Yes. And what it's about a- the rest of you? <laughs> <laughs> I got a Honda. <laughs> But uh, one thing I love about Reeves is the s- customer service. It is second to none. You walk in there, they know me. Uh, it's a surprise because I mean, I've been in there every few months, but they, they know who you are. It's incredible yeah. that they remember who you are. And so tell us a little bit about the customer service at Reeves. Well, I think it just it, it goes back to just being a family business. It's like what Gina was saying. And, and, and I think we're one of the few family car dealers still left around. You know, I'm, a lot of dealerships have sold to these big um national brands auto way and all that and we're still a family business so i think when you come in that's what you feel i think you feel the family atmosphere you um my mother is still at the helm my father passed away um, 16 years ago but it's still a family business my mother is there every day all day long she has an open door policy i think that's part of our our success um you know their mantra was that you you know, we wanted people to feel like they were a guest in our home when they would come to the dealership. What's the history of uh, Reeves in, in Tampa? A, a, a family owned? How many years does it go back? What's the almost, founding history? I think, well, almost 45 years. So, um, which is really hard to believe because I've been there for a very long time. But um, yeah, we so started start, out with Volkswagen. I see you start selling cars in 1978. You're one of the first women in the car selling business at that time. What was the environment like back then versus what it is today? Is it, are you more accepted as a uh, oh, yeah, in the car yeah, business today yeah. versus what was it like in the 70s? They would, I would approach someone. They would want to know, you know if they could speak to a salesman. I was like, well. <laughs> I'd imagine it's like Ron Burgundy, or that movie Anchorman. It's right. Not I'm unlike that. Salesman, person. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it was it was kind of tough. I, I had very good um, – I was received very well by most people. There was a few people that didn't want to speak to a woman about a car. Of course, that was in the 1970s, so that things have changed a lot. When did that start to change? When did uh, women become accepted oh, in I the think car sales? Probably, the, you know, as you see, going into the late 80s and stuff, I think people were more accepting of women in many fields, not just the car business, but um, 
And you started with the uh, Volkswagen in, in uh, with Reeves. Reeves started with the Volkswagen. Volkswagen, and then we had picked up BMW. I'll never forget when my dad brought the first BMW home. He brought, because at the time my mother had been driving, you know, a brand, a brand X car, a Cadillac. And um, so my dad in 72 brings home a BMW. It was a 3.0 CSI coupe. And I thought, boy, that is the funniest looking little car. <laughs> Boy, I wish we still had that car now because it would be worth an awful lot of money. Mm-hmm. But um, and then the two thousand twos, you know, those were so different than anything anybody had ever seen on the road. And um, so then we and then we picked up BM. We had BMW, and then um, Audi and Porsche was actually located out in East Tampa in Temple Terrace. We moved that those brands over to the Florida Avenue. Um, yeah, and today you have what is it? Porsche, Audi, Maserati, Maserati. What else do you have over there? Land, you have Land, Rover, Land Rover, Volkswagen, Subaru. When are you getting the Lamborghini? We're probably not going to get Lamborghini. <laughs> that's such a small volume. Um, that's brand. my dream car, by the way. I've had a picture of a Lamborghini hanging on my wall since I was like in first grade. My dad put that up there as a, a goal to attain in my later adult life, and I'm still still getting there. Right, but, uh, right. Well, that's maybe my dream we should car. put you in a Maserati, uh, Gran Turismo, and see. It's, the Lamborghini's not really a car you can drive every day. No, it's not. That's no. the thing. You have to have a Ask lot of disposable. Brooks, she'll tell you the Maserati's a car you can get in every day and drive. It's good. So. I had the same poster, but mine was right next to an F-15 Tomcat. <laughs> and I, I was unique in West Virginia because yeah. that's where I grew up, and everybody wanted trucks. And I was like the only guy that wanted sports cars. And when I got my first car... The only guy was, that had any sense. <laughs> and when I got my first car when I was 16, it was a Mustang. It was an 87 Mustang, a beater Mustang. But I thought I was the coolest kid in the school because I was the only one with a sports car. Everybody else had trucks. And so I've well, always Maybe been you should come guy. drive the new 911. It's I'm, coming out I've tomorrow. I've driven a few Porsches, and I've never been a big fan of the Porsche. I what about know. Audi though? They sell Audis, and those yeah. are great. Yeah, but uh, Porsche definitely has its own niche type of buyer. But mm. I've driven a few Porsches, never been too impressed with the ones I've driven. Uh, what are they like today to drive? Well, they're just amazing. I don't even know what you could have been in. <laughs> I don't even yeah, it was a rental, you know, so it was probably beaten up, and, and the performance so, was not. Well, as I tell good. you what, I'll make you do. You come over one day, bring in your car for service, and we'll take a joy ride. Oh, perfect. Okay, it'll. But it's hard change to beat, your mind. It's hard to beat BMWs because they really are just an amazing car to drive i mean they are the ultimate driving experience and so mm-hmm. bmw i mean that's your number one seller over bmw there, right? first then audi and of course audi has come off the charts uh, with all uh, such great product very technically advanced performance. i did 80 with the e-brake with the e-brake on before i realized the e-brake was on <laughs> you weren't smoking or anything no it was just it was just booking dude <laughs> wow it was crazy wow that's yeah. incredible that's yes weird. you know they're they're cutting edge i think uh, where Audi's got an edge is just um, they're working very hard on this autonomous driving. Um, the new A4 that'll be out in just a couple of weeks has got um, park assist. Like you don't even have to you don't even have to touch the car; it will park itself, mm-hmm. which is good for me because I'm not very good at parking. And um, <laughs> you know, it will stop if someone is crossing in your path. It will. Um, it could. I mean, literally looking for parking places. It will find the parking place and back in and back out. Do all that. Oh, um, this it, is great. So you're saying you're arriving in a parking lot and the car is able to see where it knows where there's a parking place. That's it awesome. also, if you're backing out and you have some visibility issues, you know, if you're sitting, if you're parked next to like a big van or something, you back out. Oh, totally. It knows. It will stop itself if there's a path, if there's a bicycle or a person or another car coming it'll stop itself it's pretty cool um we went to barcelona a few months ago and they drove us we we're at a track a circuit at near not too far from barcelona and they showed we did a demonstration in the new um seven series that's a it's a an s7 that we had out on the track and it was completely the driver the little cute driver took us on the racetrack um, 125 in the straights, through the chicanes, through the corners, with no hands, no feet on the gas, no feet on the brakes. The car was on GPS, and you can go to our website. You can go to our Audi Tampa website and see that. It was just remarkable. And actually, the car could perform faster than a human. Maybe maybe a Lamar driver. Maybe Is- Philip, maybe McNish or one of those guys. How's BMW coming along with the autonomous car, or, or are they? Are they going to be in that market? Um, I think down the road, everybody's going to have some features, like my mother's uh, 7 Series that's got um, that, you know, 
lane departure n- warnings, and it literally mm-hmm. will bring the car back into the lane if you go over that, if you start heading over into a little thing. Um, so there are some features. The heads-up display, BMW's got qu- quite a bit of features, too. Man, all, all we need brands. is Judy. Judy Jetson, and we're there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, it's right. incredible. Can they yeah. fly yet? This is a joke. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know there what? There's like a I, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Well, let me take a, a quick break here. I am talking with uh, Kim Rogers, uh, Vice President of Reeves Import Motor Cars, and you can learn more about them over at ReevesImportMotorCars.com. And you're listening to That Business Show at Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Hi, my name is Jamie Maloney. I'm the host of That Business Show, a radio show that works with business professionals to get them on air. Starting April 25th, That Business Show is expanding to air two hours a day from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., and will work with a select group of business professionals to enhance their community exposure, branding and credibility that business shows branding package offers businesses and organizations a cost-effective package which includes regular on-air appearances followed up with an edited video of the appearance and press release along with daily audio and video commercials social media management and development monthly networking event professional photography and much more only a three-month commitment is required and you will have a lifetime of benefits including a collection of videos that will not only save you time answering the same questions over and over again but will also enhance the seo of your website in addition you will become part of a network of professionals with the ability to request introductions to any of the guests that come through this program i only have a limited number of packages available to sell so act now call me today at 813-760-8516 or email me jamie at tampabayradio.com to get on board today again that's 813-760-8516 or jamie at tampabayradio.com In an age when the good and the better vie for attention, it is the best that stands out. The best of Tampa Bay from Proudly, Florida is the love story for the city of Tampa, celebrating success, sharing achievements, a tribute to enterprise and community spirit. Let Proudly, Florida showcase your business to your city, your nation, and the world. For more information, email info at proudlyflorida.com and be sure to visit proudlyflorida.com. Have you ever tried to buy a home for your family only to find out that you don't qualify for a mortgage loan? You thought that after 20 years as a customer of your bank, they would help you when you needed it the most, right? Unfortunately, the banks of today are not the banks of our parents and grandparents, and our relationships with them just don't matter anymore. My name is Frank Cotto, and I'm the president of the Lincoln Lending Group. We all may need a bank, but we also need a Frank, and that's what I'm here to do for you today. Lincoln Lending Group will waive all of your lending fees, which include your mortgage, application fee, your underwriting fee, processing fees, and any bank points. Just call 813-MORTGAGE. You drop the E and we'll drop the fee. Teresa Turner is a certified public accountant and the founder of Tax Happens, a boutique-style CPA firm providing small businesses and individuals with hands-on, personalized tax and accounting services. Although we would love to tell you how happy their clients are, we would like you to see for yourself. Tax Happens has 21 Google reviews and a 4.8-star Google rating, 17 Yelp reviews and a 5-star Yelp rating, 38 Facebook reviews and a 4.9-star Facebook rating. What sets Tax Happens apart is number one, upfront pricing, two, clear deadlines, three, personally available year-round, and number four, a willingness to empower clients to do as much or as little as they desire. Visit TaxHappens.com for more information. Savvy business owners utilize technology to connect with customers, communicate among teams, and collaborate with partners. Even with advances in technology, you all know it's not infallible. Where do you turn when your technology starts working against you? Who do you depend on to keep your team productive? Don't wait until your technology fails you. Get ahead of the crisis and contact the professionals at Alpha Computing Solutions so they can show you how to keep your technology running smoothly. Visit them on Online at www.alphacomputing.com. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of That Business Show. When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high-quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no-obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. From the Bright House Network's Traffic Center. And a 
have just some slow traffic on the interstates. No major accidents to report at this check. Howard Franklin Bridge, a bit slow from midspan over towards the Kennedy and airport exit area. Southbound 275, still slow between Fletcher and Sly. Southbound I-75, just a bit slow approaching that entrance ramp to westbound I-4. See traffic problems. Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uter. Hillsborough traffic tip line, 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by the Foundation for a Better Life. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? My neighbor. Mr. Rogers passed along friendship, hoping we would too. Friendship. Pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Today, sunny in the morning, then a 30% chance of showers in the afternoon, high 81. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 70. Tomorrow, a 40% rain chance, high 81. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to TampaBayRadio.com, where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. Hey, welcome back to the program, everybody. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. And you can learn more about the program over at TampaBayRadio.com. Talking with uh, Kim Rogers, Vice President of Reeves Import Motor Cars. You can learn more about them, ReevesImportMotorCars.com. Uh, Kim, let's not assume everybody knows where you're at. Where are you all located at? We're at the corner of um, the interstate at 275 and Fowler. And um, we have about 36 acres. We're all on one campus. So all of our brands are on one campus, which makes it really easy to shop for cars. So you can start at, you can start at our brand new Subaru. Uh, or Actually, now you would, if you're coming off the interstate, you start at BMW. And then you have Audi, Porsche showroom. Then we have quality pre-owned cars we have one of the largest supplies of used bmws Mm -hmm. on the planet um then volkswagen we have our motorsports department then maserati then land rover and then our brand new subaru showroom so you can just like do everything right there and we have like 450 employees and my dad would be really super proud right and your employees are awesome too very welcoming again very professional well, that's because my mother, the ah, queen, the queen. <laughs> interviews every single person that works there, and um, we have a great staff. We've right. won accolades from all of our manufacturers, but it's because of our employees. They're just amazing. So, yeah. Speaking of motorsports, uh, what type of events do you guys put on? Do you guys take part in sponsoring race teams, or do you put on concert events? Uh, you had mentioned briefly about events. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about these events? Yeah, we do. Well, every the first Saturday of every month, we do our motorsports gathering. Two to three hundred cars arrive. We have uh, all, in any kind of car you can think of. You know, we have um, old muscle cars come. We have really old vintage BMWs to current cars that our customers. It's just a great time to go and have a beignet, have some coffee, and just talk to other people that are car enthusiasts. So it's a, it's a great morning. It's some 7 to 9, so you get up early and join the crowd and then go out and do start your day. Now, you so. mentioned car clubs, too. Which brands have the car clubs? Does Porsche have one? BMW has one? Do mm-hmm. they all Porsche, have one? I think all of um, almost all of our brands. The Subaru Club is amazing. They've got quite a following with their, their little sports cars. Um, Porsche Cars has a, a club, Porsche Car Club, and BMW. Audi has a club. So, I mean, you can get involved and do as much or little as you want. Autocrossing and... Um, rallies porsche has driver's ed that you can go to sebring and get to know your car a little bit better so so now do you have uh have you received uh awards um with your company i think with rover pinnacle our land rover store i do thank you for bringing that up um our land rover store is the number one land rover store in the united states Wow. And this is, this is the second year in a row. Are there so. still a real popular vehicle? I remember in the 90s, that was a real popular vehicle. Maybe it's just because I'm from West Virginia and everybody wanted the four-wheel drive, yeah. big SUV type of thing. Oh, yeah. I don't hear about them as much down here. Well, the how- brand is expanding, too. The new Discovery, the new Defender is coming out soon. Um, they've expanding their brand, their model line. Um, but still, the Range Rover, Range Rover Sport are still the... Um, 
Yeah, they don't they don't come with shotguns, so I didn't know about them either <laughs> right. until I started. Nah, it was, it was a popular Pete. vehicle up there. That and the uh, the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Those are the mm-hmm. big things that I grew up. My with mom had of one of those. Yeah. That was that was one of the first vehicles I wanted. Yeah, growing up there. Of course, I always wanted the Lamborghini. Of course, too, uh, and yeah, the sports yeah. cars. And I've had a few. Mu- I've had <laughs> one. We gotta two, get him off of that Lamborghini thing. Yeah, I've <laughs> had. I've had one. It's two, like the Batmobile, though. You can't let it go. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up. I mean, I grew up. Of course, the Lamborghini was always the car wanted in the back. Of, you know, in the future. But the Mustang was my first love. I've had. Uh, three uh, Mustangs, and including my first one, which mm-hmm. was taught me everything I know about cars. I, it had ninety thousand plus miles on it when I bought it. It broke down every other weekend, and I would, uh, you know, be in my dad's rental store, you know, taking it apart. I did everything from, you know, put in a new sound system and stereo to transmission and everything but the engine. I, you yeah, know, Jimmy you, was the neighborhood stereo guy. I was, I was <laughs> back then when CD players were starting to yeah. replace tape decks. I was the guy that you know all my friends brought their their car to, and I swapped out the tape deck nowadays you can't do that i mean you can't touch Swap anything out the tape deck. yeah, yeah I, remember I mean those the, days. yeah <laughs> like in the bmw the 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 center console is like the computer of the car you can't switch those things out so anyway jamie i want you and i to go and uh, drive test uh, the porch and maseratis together that's a deal that's a deal okay. all right yeah those, those are amazing cars so now what about charities do you know do you do anything around um charities we do. Well, you know, my, my mom and dad, are their philosophy is, you know, you give back to the community that's been so good to you. And so that's what we do. Um, one of our biggest initiatives is with the military. We have a, um, a military initiative at Christmas that we help provide the E1s with um, E1 to E5 with some um, little, a little extra love at Christmas for their families. Then um, my mom is really active at, at the base. And um, then I, I personally am involved with Lamplighters. Actually, our Lights Fashion Hope is next month on um, April 22nd, I believe, 21st. And, uh, and that's, that's going to be a great event. It's our 30th anniversary, and they support Metropolitan Ministries and Joshua House. So, Thank but, you for that. But we give a little, you know, we, when you're in retail, we, um, you know, you have a lot of customers that ask you to do things. And we try to, we try to, support what our customers are passionate about Mm -hmm. so um you know we try to do um a little bit for a lot of people so um we're out there as much as we can very nice of you. one one of the things i love about reeves uh bmw2 and i don't know if this is a bmw thing or if it's a reeves thing but anytime you take your car in for service you get a uh the free rental car the rental car is yes, comped do. and i don't know if is that a bmw thing is that a reeves? no it's all of our brands if you it, buy a car from us whether it's a, a subaru volkswagen or a BMW, Maserati, any of our brands, you get a, a free loaner. Your car will be cleaned when you pick it up. Uh, we have pickup and delivery at times when it's difficult for a customer to get their car in for service. We can accommodate that. So yeah, that's that's my favorite part. You go in there, you take your BMW in, and you usually get a BMW to drive. I mean, you've got other cars uh, in there as well, but I mean, a lot of times the BMW mm-hmm. dealer, driver likes to get a replacement BMW. But sometimes they're all taken. But uh, again, a, a great place, and you have uh, customer service that is second to none. So I c- congratulate you Thank and all you. the people at Reeves BMW, and uh, give a shout out to uh, Ryan Murphy, my uh, service advisor, yeah. who takes care of me <laughs> on on most of my uh, visits up there. So a uh, great uh, great company, and thank you so much for being in studio today. Thank you so much. Absolutely. We appreciate it. That was Kim Rogers, Vice President of Reeves Import Motor Cars, and you can learn more about them at ReevesImportMotorCars.com, and they're located up there on Fowler next to the Interstate. Highly recommended uh, motor dealership here in the Tampa Bay region. Also, thank you to Gino Tiozzo, owner of Donatello Fine Italian Cuisine, who was on the uh, first part of the show. Please sure to check out his restaurant located at 232 North Del Mabry and learn more at DonatelloTampa.com. You've been listening to That Business Show. Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business.